Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tombray here with this morning mountain weather update. Just got back. I was out this morning. I was up on the Continental Divide. I was skinning up, skiing down. Um, some nice powder, clear and cold this morning. All part of this high pressure that's coming in. Uh, 127 through 131. So today, all the way through 131, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico. Very little will sneak beneath it. It's going to be very warm, abnormally warm across the West and the Pacific Northwest. Freezing levels are going to um, jump up to seven to 8,000 feet. That's your rain snow line. Here in Colorado and Utah, we're looking at eight to 10,000 foot freezing levels here during that time period. Very warm air ahead. Then the pattern shift comes in. The first week of February, still on the books. Looks like a trough of low pressure, strong subtropical jet will blow in here. In the northeast, you've got snow coming 128, 129, then again, some on 21 and 22. All right, let's go to radar here this morning. So like I was saying yesterday, where you see the precip, that's where it's going to stay, 127 through 131. The direction of the flow, the rich flow, northern California, Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia. That's where the bulk of the precip is going to be directed. And you can see the spin and area of low pressure moving in up there into Washington. Uh, but it's going to be very warm with, with all of this moisture. You're going to have to go very high to find the best snowfall. Um, the high volcanoes, the Cascades, and all the way through British Columbia. All right, so let me just show you what the uh, the water vapor looks like here this morning. And there are just a, there's a lot of moisture. I talked about this in yesterday afternoon's update, this rich directed flow up into the Pacific Northwest and BC. That's where all this moisture is being funneled up and around an area of high pressure. Let me just draw it. That is, it, it's somewhat of a a ridge of high pressure that's settling in across the Intermountain West. But everything's going to be rotating in around this thing. And there's a big uh, trough of low pressure um, sitting out here that everything's sort of rotating around as well, um, supported by the subtropical jet. But all that's going to hold off until the first week of February, and then it will completely move into the West and be translated and escorted in by that subtropical jet stream. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the situation by this afternoon. Precips all West Coast, Pacific Northwest, B.C. Um, a little bit of precip tries to sneak beneath the ridge there. You can see it blowing through the Intermountain West, but generally very warm, sunny days. Um, here's 130 late in the day. Now, by the time we get into 131, here comes the big trough, the pattern change, and it slams into the West Coast. Now, after it moves into the interior, it starts to pull in some colder air, certainly colder than what it's going to be before it moves in. Um, this is the view on 2-1. Things starting to uh, become more interesting on 2-1 with the main storm. Let me show you what it looks like on 2-2. So here's 2-2. More widespread snow. Idaho, um, Utah, Nevada, Arizona. Still some in the Sierra. And moving into Colorado, here is 2-3. Uh, more in earnest. Colder air begins to uh, filter in even more. And you've got mostly snow now. Uh, Montana, Idaho, the Tetons, the Wasatch, and most of Colorado, and maybe even down into Denver. Here's 2-4, um, and it's all snow all the way down to Denver, so definitely it does turn colder day by day. At this point, the main storm will start to rotate out and should be gone by 2-5. We'll watch the west coast for the next storm system after that in the series. So here's what it looks like on 2-1 when the door swings wide open. Escorts the big first area of low pressure and the one that really changes things and helps to kind of draw in some colder air in the middle of the atmosphere. So here's 2.5, and again, that jet is just translating off the Pacific all the way across the southern tier, bringing these ripples of low pressure in. You can see the next area of low pressure on 2.5 approaching the west coast with that trough. Dip in the jet. All right, snowfall by period. So 127 to 128. So today, tomorrow, nothing in the lower 48. It's all B.C. Uh, 129 through 131, West Coast, Washington, Oregon, and B.C. Here's the most exciting time period, 2-1 through 2-5, looking at 1 to 2 feet through most of uh, Wyoming, Utah, Idaho, and Colorado, and the Sierra during that time period. Anything in purple, magenta, over that, that's a foot or more. And there's a lot of places that will be racking up a foot or more of accumulation. So keep an eye on it. We'll see where these lows end up tracking in the next couple of days. We've got plenty of time. We've got to sit through this high pressure, so we'll watch it. Here we go with uh, 127 through 25. 
Um, most of the snow comes 128, 129 as an area of low pressure comes through and brushes the ski areas. And then there's another shot of snow, 2-1 and also 2-2. Two, two. All right, guys, we'll end on this map for the first week of February. Things still looking good and on track. And uh, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.